Hey guys, uh, Shank here again with another video. Uh, 1.35 just came out yesterday. Took me all night to download it because I have a really crappy connection here, but uh, this is one of the new planes, LA f the uh, Tier 7 LA5. You also have the uh, Yak 3P, which I haven't got yet, the LA5F Tier 8, and uh, two Lag 3s that they replaced uh, the Lag 335, I think. Got moved up to four, and this two lag threes replaced that lag three dash eight, lag three dash eleven. Bought those this morning before I went to work, and then um, watch anybody else's videos. You can see they replaced, they uh, added a BF 109E1 with uh, four seven nine two machine guns, uh, the Falk Wolf 190A5 in between. Well, that's the first one in the Falk Wolf lineup actually pretty awesome. They, it has four 20 millimeters compared to two on the A5U2, which I thought used to be the U3, but anyway, it has two 792s and two 20s. This one has, it has two, two 792s and four 20s. Two, uh, are actually two in each wing, and the two 792s fire through the propeller. As for what else they added in here, uh, it doesn't look like anything else here. Americans. They added both sabers, the 25, dash 25 and the dash 2. Uh, new P36, they moved P40 up to tier 5. The Brits got a new Mark, uh, new Mark 2 Spitfire with uh, 8, 7, 7, 8303s. Uh, a new Spitfire Mark... Uh, what the hell, where did they go? This one, it was this one. Was it Mark 5? I can't remember which one it was. 9, 15. Oh, yes. That's the other Mark 9. Tier 13 Mark 9, uh, that was bef there before this new Mark 9. So for our F Mark 9, early version, with uh, basically the same armament right there as the later Mark 9. Haven't I bought it, but I haven't used it yet. The uh, Japanese got this Ki-102 Otsu with a 57 millimeter cannon, 16 rounds, and and uh, two 20 millimeter guns or cannons, I should say. And uh, that looks like about it. Yeah, that looks like about it right there. I don't see anything else in here that's new. Hopefully they rework flight models. I actually flown the Germans already, and the 109 and Falk Wolf's uh, seem to fly different. This is, it looks like they've modified the flight model somewhat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try out this new plane. Go in this arcade battle here. Forgive my uh, crappy uh, rounds. I haven't been flying that much in War Thunder lately after, I took a break after the uh, Indian Summer deal because I had been flying basically non-stop as much as I could for uh, about a week and a half on low tiers and uh, it kind of wears you out after a while so you need to take a break away from games like this so you see my Battlefield 3 videos, I played some of that with another friend. Uh, let's go ahead and start out with the new LA5 here. I don't have anything. And don't need that. Go ahead and do battle. I need cover. For those of you that haven't watched the earlier video, uh, haven't watched anybody else's videos, you can disable the instructor. There are videos on YouTube if you look up disable War Thunder instructor, I believe. Uh, if you disable the instructor, it disables it in arcade mode, not in, uh, not in the historical battle mode or full wheel. I don't think full wheel actually has an instructor, but if you disable the instructor, you can land your plane at anything under 300 and cap bases, and then be able to take back off while still maintaining a high, high rate of speed, as you see there. We do have to be careful with... Uh, bit larger prop planes, like the Spitfires and um, Falkwolfs, I believe. Anything British, 
you probably don't want to use to tilt cap bases with at high speed because the prop most likely will hit the ground and then you'll uh, destroy your engine. And then you have to sit there and repair it and if you're lucky enough to have already kept the base, you might be able to, to pull it off, but if you haven't kept the base, then you're crap the shit out of it. Do pretty good damage. Oh, it looks like he tried to suicide in one of our guys. Dang it, I just ran out of the to roll back on here. Get the hell away from this place. Just oh, dang it. So, right wings. Yep. Still flying. Let's see if I can stay alive long enough to get at this point. Pop up my wing. Okay. Ah, damn. I got to get the dagger shot again. Hit my plane. Whoa! Yep, I got him. Oh, and that guy just knocked out my right side aileron. Let's see if I can get back on him. Whoa! And I'm flying inverted. This is not good. Let's see if we can get back to the level here. Nope. Looks like this point is basically worthless. It isn't worthless. Oh, that's three air kills. Let's see what three. Oh, dang it. Alright, we'll just fly this around until I get shot down. There's no point in going back to base because by the time I get back there and back out in the field, the game will be pretty much be over. Okay. Oh. That was a one hit kill because my wing was black. I don't much like using Yak 9s just because they're the Russian troll machines. If you're really good at them, if you have the upgrade 37 millimeters, 37 and 45, I should say. Because the Yak 9K, of course, has a 45 instead of a 37. and protect our base protect here. Protect the base. Looks like they're in Cap A as well. And he rammed me. Yay. Alright. Time to break out the troll machine, apparently. Oh, nice. They actually cap C. Usually I, I'm the first one to go cap C. But I saw how big of a cluster that was coming right towards C, and I decided not to this round. And looks like we've got four people chasing one plane. Uh, three, three people. Try and steal these guys' kill. Oh. I already got him. Now, this is what you never want to do with P-38s. You never want to go right into a giant pile of guys. Because that plane does not handle for the crap. It's good diving, boom and zoomer. But anything besides that, it will not turn inside basically anybody. That was a bad idea for me. 
Well, not turn basically inside anybody, and it also... does not accelerate that well in a climb or a level flight, because apparently the, uh, the boost mode of the engines in that plane is not set up correctly, from what I hear and what I've noticed on the XP-38. Oh, we can actually repair it, but that's going to take too long, so we won't do that. That's what we can use now. Uh, that's three planes down, one to a ram. Uh, I will try and the X3. Yeah, like that. Alright, let's go here. Oh, they recap C. That's... team's doing over there. Or half of it anyway. It's like nobody's paying attention to anything over here. Wow, I don't know how he didn't hit me. Unfortunately all I did was damage the schooling system. Hopefully he's going down, but I doubt it. Dive into gain speed. Ah. Thought that guy might st might steal my kill. I I pulled that one out. Looks like we're gonna lose if nobody caps that base again. They don't cap B. And he rams me. And somehow he got killed first. Looked like I was firing on him first. Always try for collision of winds when going head on. Oh, this round is over. They're going to cap A as well. Oh, but, uh, yeah, you should always try for collision avoidance when you're going head on with somebody just because most of the time you will save yourself from getting killed and you might actually get the kill. 
get in there quick enough. But that was not a good game for me. But it looks like uh, at least I unlocked some stuff for the LE5. That was nice. Four air kills. And we did get two assists. No surface units, of course. But that's that. It's 5x right now, but of course that wasn't a win, so you're not going to see a giant amount of XP or credits at that point because we didn't win. But, uh, alright, that's that for that round, and I'll see you in the next one.